This figure shows the outcome of the firm's decision with respect to price setting in the whole economy. On the y-axis, we have the real wage, which is the nominal wage divided by the economy-wide price level, capital P. On the horizontal axis, we have employment in the whole economy. So let's read the figure now. We start with the top horizontal blue line. This line shows firms' revenues per worker in real terms, that is, the average product of labor. Real wage can be at most equal to the average product of labor, which means that the blue line indicating average product of labor is above the real wage line described by the price heading curve. So what is the price heading curve? The price heading curve gives the value of the real wage which results from firms setting their price to maximize their profits. This is the price that is consistent with the markup over cost. Note that this value is the same regardless of the employment level. It is a horizontal line after all. So the value of the real wage consistent with the markup does not depend on the level of employment in the economy. So point B on the price setting curve shows the outcome of profit maximizing price setting behavior of firms for the economy as a whole. Finally, you might be wondering, what will actually determine the height of the price setting curve? That is an important question, because for a given lambda, the higher the price setting curve, the higher the real wage, and the lower the firm's markup's gonna be. If we consider the impact of public policies, there are many things that's gonna influence the price setting curve. So let's disregard government intervention. Then there are two things that influences the price setting curve. The first one is competition. The less the competition, the better for the firm is in the market. It allows them to have a higher markup, increases the profit per worker. Since this leads to higher prices across the whole economy, it implies lower real wages pushing down the price setting curve. Second thing that affects the price setting curve is labor productivity. For any given markup, the level of labor productivity determines the real wage. So the higher the level of labor productivity, the higher the real wage that is consistent with a given markup. So higher labor productivity shifts the blue line upwards. Given the markup did not change, the price setting curve will shift upwards as well, which increases real wage.